All right, I am recording this in an area where people are being very loud outside, so hopefully it's not too disturbing um, and you can hear this. But this video is going to show you how to go about adding elements to your web page now that you have published it. Um, the first thing that I've asked you to do is to insert a text box. So you're going to want to make sure that this uh, menu over here to the side is open for you. Uh, this will only be open when you're in edit mode. So you're going to make sure it's on insert. And then you have a choice of text box, images, form, uh, from your drive rather, and uh, embed code. So we're going to start very simply with a text box. You can do this by selecting text box, or you can select one of these layouts from um, beneath. So just to get us started, because you might want to include a personal photo um, that will engage uh, your audience and make it more attractive, I'm going to click on this layout, and then I'm going to click to edit. So in your instructions, I tell you that I would like you to make sure that you have um, at least very minimal um, this information right here. So I'm gonna copy and paste that into my example here. Um, I wanna know who you are. This is in public, so you don't need to worry about sharing your personal information, um, but please don't get too terribly specific. I don't need your like whole address, but you can say that you are um, a student, a, a 12th grade student, at uh, Cleveland Heights High School uh, and that this portfolio, because the next thing you need to do is uh, explain the purpose of it, is a class project that is aimed at showing um, how you are growing as a writer. All right. So that's something that you can put in there. Uh, if you want, you can also add a photo by clicking on that box now and then uh, selecting an image from either a URL, searching your albums, um, Google Drive, uh, your choices. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a picture to put on here. Um, I'm gonna put my Bitmoji up there so that you can see what it is and you can see she's way too big. So maybe I need to make her a little bit smaller and then resize it so she fits in there appropriately. Um, and then when I'm done with this, Again, I need to hit publish in order for it to save and actually show up on the link that my teacher can see. If I don't do that, they're going to assume that I haven't done any work, okay? Um, the next thing I ask you to do is actually to add another page in which you're going to share the first piece of your writing. To do this, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your um, menu on the right side and you're going to select pages and you'll see that there's nothing there um, but you want to go down to the bottom where you'll see this button that looks like a little plus sign when i hover over it i have a choice of inserting a link or a new page so i'm going to click on new page and then i can give my new page a title and the title i asked you to use was personal narrative all right and then i'm going to click done and here's the point where if we were doing this live in class, I would ask you what you thought the next step should be. So hopefully you know what that could be. Well, I don't know. Well, what you're going to do is actually click publish again. Um, at this point, you're going to need to ask your teacher to check uh, because this is your exit ticket to show that you've created your website and you have your page, and this is how you're going to earn your 10 points of class participation for the day. If you were absent and are doing this at home or during a makeup day, um, the class participation points will not be valid because you weren't participating that day. You should have been exempt. If you were here that day and you just didn't follow along for one reason or another, um, that is, doesn't mean that you can make up points. Unfortunately, time travel doesn't exist. So if you have questions, you can rewatch the video, you can ask a neighbor, or you can Google. But the next thing you need to do after those three, try three, then ask me.